Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Huawei's overtaking in 5G has put unprecedented pressure on the United States. Today's Biden team is very panicked. Any Chinese company that has some achievements will be noticed and will be included in the entity list to restrict cooperation with the US technology system. Huawei has played a positive role in the entire process. The entire nation of the Biden team is still unable to restrain Huawei. The successive releases of Harmony OS system and Kirin chips have allowed Huawei to dominate the international market without relying on 5G. However, the continuously upgraded chip regulations have still caused a lot of trouble for Huawei. When High Silicon lost its revenue capacity, Ren Jingfei not only did not abandon the company, but spent a lot of money to help it recruit talents around the world. Now High Silicon has lived up to expectations and successfully resumed the release of Kirin 9000S chips and the Biden team has so far I still don't know who made it. Under strict precautions, Huawei not only developed and produced high-end chips by itself, but also ushered in the return of 5G. This also directly slapped the Biden team in the face, which also completely established a good reputation for domestic research institutes and enterprises. Confidence, NPU, as the Seven Sons of National Defense, officially announced a major breakthrough. Two professor teams from Northwestern Polytechnical University have successively made breakthroughs in advanced technology. While breaking the monopoly of European and American technology, they have also left them far behind. So what exactly does this metal powder called high-entropy alloy do? What can China's breakthrough bring? Magic metal powder. In the field of additive manufacturing, a material called duplex high-entropy alloy, HEA, has attracted much attention. This material exists in powder form and has the advantages of high strength corrosion resistance, high temperature stability, multifunctionality, and sustainable development. Dual-phase high-entropy alloys have unique organizational structures and properties and can be used for metal 3D printing to manufacture parts with complex shapes through powder bed fusion molding, such as selective laser melting. This manufacturing method can achieve high precision, high strength, and complex shapes. Fabrication of structural components. It can also be applied to surface coatings through thermal spraying technology to provide high temperature, wear resistance, corrosion resistance, and other properties to enhance the durability and protection of parts. It can also be used in metallurgical processes and prepared by sintering or hot pressing. High performance parts. This method can prepare parts with uniform structure, high strength and high temperature stability, and is suitable for aerospace, energy and other fields. In the era of new energy technology development, High entropy alloys also play an important role in liquid hydrogen storage and transportation, nuclear power, superconductivity, and other fields. Therefore, they have become a hot presence on the international circuit as a necessary auxiliary in high end fields. Europe and the United States have always been strictly guarded against China. After the technological game between China and the United States began, it directly transformed into competition between the two countries. 
Which country has more technological advantages in this area? Now we have a relatively accurate answer. Two teams from the Northwestern Polytechnical University successively released new, high-entropy alloy materials this year, leaving the American scientific research team behind. It is already very difficult to overtake. Professor Su Hai-jun's team announced the research results of a new type of eutectic high-entropy alloy composite, EHEA, in June 2023. The addition of six ceramic particles and special technology greatly enhanced the performance, and the tensile strength of the material reached 1.5 GPA. The elongation rate also increased to 9% year-on-year which directly tied the United States, which has been studying in the field for many years. Soon, NPU once again broke through with more advanced technology, directly catching up with the United States. Professor Wang Jincheng's team developed a new generation of high-entropy alloys, EHEAs. The tensile strength was directly increased to 2 GPA, and the elongation was even more an exaggerated increase to 35%. Such a breakthrough has brought new hope to China's manufacturing industry. The Biden team must be at the end of their rope. Today's Chinese technology is everywhere. But for any technology that is stuck, China has a way to make corresponding breakthroughs and the high-entropy alloy used in this breakthrough materials will elevate China's manufacturing industry to another level. In the past, the United States allowed all countries to enter the International Space Station, except China. Chinese scientific researchers worked hard and directly built a space station of their own. This time, China refused the United States' entry and the self-research of new materials. China Aerospace Aviation also has the opportunity to completely catch up with the United States. The return of Huawei's Kirin 9000S chip has broken the U.S. monopoly on high-end chips and destroyed those allies that followed the trend. After China becomes stronger, these weeds have a clear idea of how to make decisions. The breakthrough of high-entropy alloys, the strong, protective network, formed behind China's manufacturing industry, is comparable to the return of Kirin chips. The seven sons of national defense continue to bring surprises to China. These universities are all good. I also hope that Qingbei can cultivate more such talents and better contribute to the motherland, so as to live up to the high expenditure. In this regard what do you think?